Sandy Simonoff. I'm the biotech instructor here at Sally B. Howard. And today I want to take you on a tour of my lab. But first, a little bit about me. I'm an Air Force veteran. I grew up in Texas and then moved about the country. I'm a graduate of the University of Mount Olive in criminal justice. And then I have a two-year biotechnology degree from Pitt Community College. And that little two-year degree has been the most beneficial for me. I've worked in industry, like I said, and I've worked in teaching. And now I get to share all this knowledge with you. So our young scientists will have their own lab space and maybe they're gonna work on pipetting skills, a key component to being a good lab tech. They would grab their pipette of choice for what they're working with today. They would open their box of tips, put a tip on, grab their aliquot of whatever they're working with today, take a sample, put it in their test tube, and then maybe they have to dilute it to get to the concentration that they would like. Sometimes they'll be making solutions, or maybe they need to heat it or stir said solution. So they would use their own hot plate. Every table is outfitted with one. And as you can see, we have a magnetic bar in there that stirs this as they do something else. This is a Spectronic 200. Every student has one of these at their lab space. And this is for when they dilute these solutions and then they wanna quantify the result, they will use this instrument. All right, this is a centrifuge. So we will put our tubes in here and students will be able to spin things down. This is our vortexer and it's just a simple way to shake things up. Gives it a nice little spin in a certain direction and it has different components for it. And each lab table is outfitted with one of these as well. Here we have our biosafety cabinets. This is where all students will do their sterile work. So an important technique for biotechnologists is aseptic technique. Maybe we're doing cell culture and we're growing cells and we really don't want to contaminate them. We would work in this hood, which has a sterile flow of air coming down. Everything in here is handled meticulously. We do not want to contaminate our cells. This little instrument is called a thermocycler, also known as PCR. So it typically takes DNA and amplifies it. And what we mean by that is it makes many copies of DNA for use in testing. All right, so moving along in our lab, we have three centrifuges, a few water baths. We also have our dry blocks. Some days the students will use our incubators, some at 25C, some at 37, depending on what we're growing. Autoclave, and we have more than one of these little babies, but this is where we sterilize most of our equipment ice machine for when we need to cool things down, freezer to store things that need to be frozen, four degrees C fridge for things that just need to be chilled. One of the most coveted pieces by most high school science teacher, a UV box to sterilize those safety glasses that students will be wearing every day. Broken glass container, fire extinguisher and blanket, and then a lab cart just to move things around. In this room, we have our balances. We have two different types here that students will learn a basic lab skill of weighing things out properly for their experiments. Also included in this room is our chemical storage, which you can see is very vast. Students will actually learn how to read these labels and come and get their own chemicals throughout the semester, maybe in year two, or even three. The skills our biotech students gain in this high school program will qualify them to be a lab assistant at a local company. Or maybe they'll pursue a two-year program at a local community college or a four-year degree at a university. There are several universities and community colleges that align directly with our biotech program. Biotechnology is about solving the world's problems. We have seven billion people and we need to figure out how to help them survive in the earth that we have today. And biotech is the answer for that. 